Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday. It's another Felici Friday. We are here. It is not a pretty day here in Michigan, that is for sure. We had lots of rain, which is good though, because we have been like in a drought, I feel like. It's been really, really dry. So we've had some good rain. It's just kind of dreary and ugly today though. So hey, Philomena, glad you can join us. Yeah, so I've been, um, playing with lots of new holiday catalog stuff. Finally, I'm in the mood. I wasn't in the mood for a while, but I'm in the mood now. So maybe it's because it's, you know, almost fall, right? So yeah, anyway, we've got some fun projects. They actually, um, we are going to be playing with these awesome dies called, let me make sure, yes, the Celebration Labels dies. This is what we're gonna play with today. Hello, Miss Tammy down in Stockbridge. So if you have not seen these yet, if you haven't gotten them, if you haven't played with them yet, this is like gonna be your must have die set out of the holiday catalog. I don't know if you can see how big and I don't have my ruler. Um, my grid paper would help me, but I realized, oh shoot, that's buried underneath there somewhere. So I'm gonna have to find that. Anyway, these are probably, well, I guess this black um, magnetic piece is like five inches by seven inches. So this big die has got to be probably about six inches by maybe four and a half. So it's a big die. Um, we're going to play with this on a treat that we're going to make. These are great for like treat toppers too. Hey, Lori, welcome, welcome. So yeah, these are awesome. This is this was the thing that caught my eye, one of the very first things in the holiday catalog that I was like, okay, I have to have those. And then of course I got the bundle. Um, do I have it here? Yep, because you know, these dies come in a bundle, right? So you might as well get the stamp set too because you get your 10% off. So super cute, the Celebration Tidings um, stamp set that coordinates with these dies also. So we're gonna play with these later on today. And Philomena, thank you for the share. I appreciate that so very, very much. So yeah, we've got some fun stuff planned for today. Um, what else did I wanna tell you guys about? Oh, actually, <clears throat> I was just on the phone last night with my good friend and fellow demonstrator melissa talking about our weekend retreat because i've had people kind of asking like are you gonna do it what if you have to cancel we are like fingers crossed that we don't have to cancel first of all we are planning on doing it um it is let me give you details okay um let's see weekend retreat is october 23rd through the 25th um, it's down in Lansing, so it's about an hour south of Alma here. Um, it is at, um, it's called the University Quality Inn. We've been doing it for years there, which I love that location because it's really like convenient right off the highway too. So whichever way you're coming from, it's super easy to get to. Um, we have a great big wide open conference room. We always are at six foot long, you know, not wide, six foot long tables. So we will be able to practice our social distancing. Um, they did ask, you know, if you're out and about in the hotel that you wear your mask. If you're more comfortable, you can wear a mask while you're in the room crafting. Um, I don't believe we're gonna require that. I mean, if, if enough people say yes, we want everybody to do that, then certainly we will. Um, but we're trying to do everything that we can, um, you know, like the make and takes and some of the, kind of the community stuff. We'll make sure we have um, cleaning supplies there so that once, you know, one person does the make and takes, they can kind of wipe things down a little bit just to make sure that they're clean and sanitized for the next um, person that comes through. So we're gonna do everything that we can. Our plan is to have an awesome, awesome event. I know people are, you know, wanting to get out and about a little bit. Um, we're gonna keep it super safe so that you're comfortable. Um, so we'd love to have you attend. Again, it is October 23rd through the 25th. So it's coming up because actually, if you sign up and prepay and sign up for the weekend retreat, that's October 23rd through the 25th, hey Susie, by September 21st, which is like a few weeks from now, I think it's like three weeks from now, if you sign up and prepay, you get a free gift in your goodie bag, um, along with an awesome goodie bag. We always give a goodie bag. Um, we were just talking about that, the fun products we're gonna include in there and the fun treats that we're gonna make everybody. Um, so like I said, we're planning an awesome, awesome weekend. So I'd love to have you join us. Um, you know, I think everybody's, you know, in some ways kind of ready to get out and, you know, do a little something. So this is your chance. This is your opportunity. Um, we're going to keep it safe. It'll be fun. You'll be able to craft and make all kinds of fun, whatever projects you want to work on. We're going to have classes there too. So if you want to, you know, break off and do a class um, instead of doing some of your own stuff, you've got those options too. Um, there's, it's funny. I keep having these other thoughts popping in my head and then they like disappear. 
Um, what else? What else? Well, let me know if you have any questions. We would just love to have you attend. We feed you. We feed you all weekend long. Too. I've got my little notes here. Um, so that you don't have to worry about anything. You can just come and play and do whatever you want all weekend long. So we start at four o'clock on Friday afternoon and we go until two o'clock on Sunday afternoon. So you have like almost 48 hours basically to do whatever you want. Um, and it's awesome. I love this weekend. So think about that. Let me know if you have any questions. And then in addition, I have right here local, right here in Alma, the one day retreat comes up on November 14th. RSVP um, for that to get your free gift in that goodie bag is actually October 16th. So you got a little bit more time on that one, but if you sign up and prepay by October 16th for the one day retreat that's right here at Alma, St. Mary's School, just down the road from me here, um, huge, huge open um, gymnasium, parish hall kind of thing. Um, I'm like, I can't even like put my arms big enough. Um, we have so much room in that place. I mean, you can have your table like, I don't know, 20 feet away from the next person if you wanted to be. Um, big, high windows, lots of great light. So it's a great um, place to have the one day retreat also. So we'll be doing that um, on November 14th too. But again, sign up and prepay for the one day retreat by October 16th and you get another free gift in your awesome goodie bag. Same kind of thing there too. I give you a goodie bag. I make cute treats for you. I feed and spoil you all day. There are make and takes. I may have optional classes. Um, we'll see about that. I haven't, I haven't quite gotten that far yet. Um, but yeah, it's an awesome one one day, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Saturday, October or November 14th. So if you have any questions on that event, let me know. Or if you want to sign up for both, I spread them out enough that um, maybe people want to come to both of them. Hello, Miss Rosemarie and Miss Susan. Yes, you're so cute, Susan. Good morning, everyone. Yes, I'm so glad you guys can all be here. So again, if you have any questions on the weekend retreat, the one-day retreat, I'd love to have you join us because we just have a spectacular time. Um, Okay, isn't that crazy? Susie, um, I think you're asking about the one day retreat. I think it's $64. Isn't that funny? I haven't looked, I've been putting flyers in people's orders and I haven't even, I'm pretty sure it's $64 for the one day retreat. And then, ugh, I can't remember for sure, around $150 for the um, weekend retreat. Um, <laughs> Don't quote me on those though, um, but I can send you info. I've been emailing about it too, but I can send you info um, on that also. So I'd love to have you come. Yeah, that would be awesome. Bring friends too. It's always fun to like, you know, have that day together with friends too. So, or we can set you up with friends. If you're coming on your own, we can um, get you set up and you'll um, hang out with some fun, wonderful people also. Hello, Miss Teresa. So yeah, okay, so that's that. Um, Last couple of days, what are we on the 28th? Um, August 28th, so we have 28, 29, 30, 31. So four days left to use your bonus day coupons. Do not let those go to waste. You, If you put in a $50 order in July, you got a bonus day coupon emailed to you, so make sure you use it. You can buy some fun new holiday catalog product and use your $5 off coupons. So this is my, my last ditch effort to make sure everybody knows um, about those um, bonus coupons and make sure you use them because you just have a few days left. I think what Monday is the 31st. So Monday at midnight, Salt Lake City Mountain Standard Time. Use your coupons, ladies, okay? And let me know if you have any questions on that, okay? Um, I think we are ready to do our first drawing and we've already had people sharing the video. So just so you know, if you share the video or sign up for my email list, last week's video, your name went in the drawing to win the beautiful Just Jade Twill Ribbon. Great for your fall projects, great for your holiday Christmas projects. Love this ribbon, it ties so nicely too. So, okay, we've got lots of entries in here. Thank you, I always appreciate your shares of the video. That's what helps me kind of reach new people and kind of keep business trucking along, right? So hello, Miss Darlene, welcome back. I'm glad you can be here with us. So yeah, share the video, ladies. Sign up for my email list if you're not getting my email regularly. Um, yeah, okay, so here we go. First drawing winner is, I've got one ticket in my hand, Miss Becky White. Congratulations, Miss Becky. So thank you for sharing the video. She's a good sharer, I appreciate her share. So Becky, I will send you this ribbon um, out, out to you. So this week we are going to give away, I love these little dots, these are the in color enamel dots, the 2020, 2022, the new in colors, right? So we have Bumblebee, Cinnamon Cider, Misty Moonlight, Just Jade, Magenta Madness, 
Woo! I was really good at that, wasn't I? <laughs> I always like got think I'm gonna like flake out and be like, oh, I can't remember a color name, but I've had these, right? We've had them for a few months, so I know all these colors. So these are our new ink colors. Love these little dots. Um, so share the video, sign up for my email list, and your name's gonna go in the drawing next Friday to win the in color enamel dots, okay? So I have to give, you guys are all, I love all your comments. You're so sweet. Um, and happy Friday to you too, Miss Darlene. We love Fridays around here, right? Uh, it's the best day of the week, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, so actually we have, oh, now I'll like be off on my little tangent here. Lily's birthday, my daughter Lily is turning 16, if you can believe, can you believe I have a 16-year-old kid? <laughs> of course, because I was a super old mom when I had her, right? Um, but yeah, she's going to be 16 years old on Sunday, so we've got a fun weekend plan for her um, 16th birthday. Um she is hoping, you know, the one kind of bummer is when your birthday is on a Sunday, you can't get your driver's license right on your birthday. So we were just talking about she's trying to get her appointment at the Secretary of State's office on Monday the 31st, which happens to be her very first day of school. And she's already trying to get out of school so that she can go get her driver's license. So we'll see. I'm hoping to get an appointment later in the afternoon so she can actually stay in school her whole first day of school and then get her driver's license. But that's such a big, exciting thing. So we yeah, we're super excited for her. So yeah. And then, oh, Cade's got basketball practice uh, over in Flint tonight, which is like an hour and a half away. So we're going to be heading over, taking him to a basketball practice and kind of checking out the area and maybe doing a little pre-birthday shopping or something for Lily for her birthday. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, so it's going to be a fun weekend. So hopefully you guys have some fun plans for your weekend also. So let's see what else. Oh, I have to give a congratulations, Lori. I think you're on here too. So one of my um, awesome inspired stampers, Miss Lori Cresswell, just reached qualified recruit status, which means she has at least $900 in sales. I think she's over that um, at this point. But once she reaches $900 in sales, she becomes what's called a qualified recruit within like the Stampin' Up! lingo. And she gets a $25 shopping spree from me as like a congratulations for getting there, right? Because the other awesome thing is now she's like halfway to promoting to Bronze Elite, which is $1,800 in sales. And Bronze Elite is like the, the point that everybody at least wants to get to because then you get 25% off of all of your orders instead of just 20%, which is what you normally get. You get 20% off of your orders when you bump up and promote to Silver Elite, which Lori's halfway there. She gets 25% off of her orders. So hello, Miss Diana. Diana knows about that awesome 25% off of your orders because she is well beyond. She's at Silver already. So yeah. So congratulations, Miss Lori. That was fun to see that you got your order in um, and were able to get to qualified recruit status. So congratulations, Miss Lori. That's awesome. It's fun to see people working, working through and making their way through the, what they call the compensation plan at Stampin' Up. So <laughs> it's fun. Um, all right. So let's see, let me show you guys. So Yes, Laura, you are on here. Woo! -hoo! Yes, woo! -hoo -hoo. <laughs> so cute. So, um, yeah. So, if you put an online order in last week of at least thirty dollars, your name went. Um, well, you automatically receive the two cards, the make and takes that we made on last week's Facebook Live, and your name went in the drawing to win. And these are mine because I wanted to show you them. The Hippo Happiness Dies. You guys, these these are another with all those labels. The labels are what always get me because I use those labels so much. They've got the little hippo and the lamb and something else here too, which those are great. Those are super cute. They match the stamp set, but the labels are what I can't like live without, right? So yes, if you put an online order in of at least $30, your name is in the drawing to win the Hippo um, and Friends, right? Is that what they're called? That Yeah, the Hippo and Friends dies. And then if you bumped your order up to $50, you got to pick from the um, August free embellishment, which are the in color enamel dots, or the demo design dream team PDF tutorial, right? So, so the kind of crazy thing is I only had one person put an online order in last week. So I don't even have to like stick my hand into that little blue bag. I can just tell you that Miss Monica Talbot is the only one with her online order. So she automatically receives the new Hippo Happiness. Not mine, right? I've got these, I've got hers all packed up right here. Yes, but the Hippo Happiness dies go to Miss 
Miss Monica Talbot. So I'm telling you guys, I just do not get too many online orders, which of course I would love to get more online orders, but it's good for you guys. Your odds are always really good. Every single week of like the giveaway that I do, it's not like there are 50 names in that little bag, right? There are like maybe one, two, three max, I would say. So your odds are really, really good of winning whatever I'm giving away. So I'm plugging, right? Put your online orders in, lady. I ladies, I really appreciate that too. It is truly what helps me to be able to keep doing the Facebook Lives. That's basically how I get paid to do the Facebook Lives, if that makes sense, is um, your ordering, right? So um, yeah, so let me know if you have any questions on that, but I would love, or if you have any, if you need any help putting an online order in, if you don't know how to do that, I'm happy to help you. So you can always call or text me to my phone number, 989 three three zero zero two five nine okay so i'm happy to help you too um because i do like i said i really do appreciate those online orders because it helps me kind of keep going with what i'm doing here so all right and i feel like i want to like scroll back sorry if my finger is going to be like on the screen here for a sec you guys are all so sweet saying congratulations oh diana you're talking about these dyes aren't you the um hippo and friends dyes they are awesome yes you definitely need those dyes so Yes. Okay. So congratulations, Monica. I will be sending you the Hippo and Friends dies. And I think she opted for the embellishment. I'll go back and check my notes, but I think she wanted the in color dots. And then she gets these two. So look at all this. Basically, I think she put it like around a $50 order in, which is awesome. Thank you. She gets all this stuff for free. Cards, dies, and the um, in color dots with her online order. So congratulations, Miss Monica. Okay. We're scooting that out of the way. Now, okay, so this week, if you, <laughs> you guys are so funny, um, if you put an online order in of it just at least $30, I have the awesome, oh, thank you, Tracy, yay, Friday, she's sharing the video, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, okay, so online order anytime between now and next Wednesday at midnight, which Wednesday is September 2nd, I think, right? Your name is going to go in the drawing to win this beautiful, the Dainty Diamonds embossing folder, which I actually just used on that holiday card. So if you guys, because I think maybe, yeah, you can see a little bit better right there, the pretty diamonds, like that just sparkles, the little pop, little diamond right there. Oh my gosh, I thought I was gonna sneeze. So this is like my hay fever season, as my mom used to call it. <laughs> and some years it's not too bad, but this year, I, I don't know. And, and my nose is already kind of being tickly. Um, so I feel like, it, yeah, it might not be a good year for hay fever <laughs> for my allergies. We'll see. Uh, sorry. Okay. Sorry. 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 I'm off on my little tangent there. But anyway, yeah. So your name goes in the drawing to win the Dainty Diamonds embossing folder with at least a $30 order. And you're going to get the projects that I will demonstrate in just a little bit. Bump your order up to $50. You get those in color dots or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. So lots and lots of good stuff. Okay. All right. Um, 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 what else do I want to tell you guys about? Oh, super summer giveaway, right? Just a couple of days left. It ends on August 31st, which is next Monday. These are all the ways you can still get your name in the drawing, right? Um, well, I was going to say one. Oh, this is driving me crazy. My Okay, I'm going to just try to ignore it. <laughs> Like so ready to sneeze, like oh, that'd be awful, right? So one for each event you attend. So I actually don't have any more events between now and Monday, but your name has been going in all summer long for every event that you've attended. If you spend at least $50, you get two entries in the drawing. That's for online also. So in addition to all the other stuff I'm giving away, um, let's see, Tracy, can you tell us what those two small, <coughs> there it is, there it is. Is that gonna be the only one? Um, what those are for. Hmm. <coughs> oh, sorry. Now I'm going to be all distracted. Let me look and see. Because you know what? I have kind of wondered myself, Miss Tracy. Hello, Sharon. Okay. Let me see if I can find that out. <coughs> and apparently I'm going to keep sneezing like all morning long. Okay. So let me, I'm taking a look in the catalog to see if I can see. <coughs> mm, goodness, goodness, goodness. Okay, where are those dies? Because now I do want to know. Like, um, well, so one of them that I just saw, there's, <laughs> okay, in, oh my gosh. <coughs> oh, all right, I might need to get a Kleenex. Bear with me if I have to run away to get a Kleenex. The one teeny tiny die goes around that little piece right there. 
<coughs> oh, this is embarrassing. Sorry, guys. Then there is another little teeny tiny one that's the flower. Can you see how it's kind of grayed out? And then there's another little teeny tiny one that goes around the bow. So, oh my gosh, those, those are all part of, <laughs> part kind of of probably like decorating your hippo and your lamb, like with the little bow. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. Okay, so then there's also, so I would say, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Philomena. <laughs> you, oh, that's so funny. Okay, so those little guys went around. It's like a little drip or something. I don't know what it is. It looks like a little raindrop, right? This one is the bow. Those are the flowers. And then these, these things I think are um, like little ribbon slides. Like you could kind of um, put like that little piece of paper with that little thing and like slide your ribbon through it. Um, this one looks like it goes around the balloon and that's the squiggle. Actually, they've got a couple of the um, little, actually they've got three of them, don't they? Three of the little flowers. So I think, and then that looks like a little exclamation point. Yeah, it is. It might be like part of like on, almost looks like, yeah, it looks like an exclamation point. Ha, unicorn horn, thank you. <laughs> That's what that probably those little things are right there, or this one is. Now I gotta look and see. Yeah, that makes sense, the unicorn horn, yeah. Okay, thank you ladies. I was trying to kind of decipher because I haven't used any of those little ones. Honestly, I have that stamp set, but I haven't even die cut those little guys. I've only used the labels. But yeah, I think we have it figured out then, don't we? The unicorn horn. Yeah, you guys are all telling me. Yes, it might be the unicorn horn. Um, and then Tracy is asking about the square. So that's the, I think you're talking about this one. That I believe is for the ribbon. So it cuts out a little slit um, that you can put your ribbon through. Do you know what I mean? So it's almost like you can put like a little, like a, like a, like a little pocket or patch, but then you can slide your ribbon through that hole there too. So <laughs> Sharon, smallest die ever. Yeah, you are not kidding. It really is about the smallest, isn't it? So yeah, I think we got it figured out. Let me know if you have any more questions on that. I'm glad that you asked actually, because I hadn't figured it out myself. So, okay, I'll leave that over there. <clears throat> All right. I think, oh, we were talking about the super summer giveaway. That's right. All right, good. Susan's saying it's yes for the ribbon too. All right, I, <laughs> good. I know what I'm talking about. I was just kind of guessing on some of that. So, um, okay, so yeah, so back to the super summer giveaway. You get two tickets for every $50 that you sp spend. The other one that you guys can still do, and it would be super fun to be like flooded all weekend long with this, is you get two entries if you post a picture of a project like I demonstrate on Facebook Live. Um, and you know what, honestly, put anything on. At this point, just use that hashtag super summer giveaway any project that you post and use that hashtag in the next couple of days your name is going to go in this drawing two times i would love basically to see what you guys have been up to just share whatever project you've made lately as many projects as you want right um use that hashtag super summer giveaway and your name will go in the drawing two times for that Okay, um, you could still join Paper Pumpkin or the In Color Club and get three entries in the drawing. Or if you bought the starter kit in the next four days, you could get five entries into the drawing. Um, let's see. <laughs> so, oh, Sally's talking about me twisting her arm. I know, there are always so many cute things. It's really not even me. Honestly, my arm was probably twisted and that's how it ended up in my stash. And now I just have to share it with you guys. So I totally get it. Um, yeah. I did this thing, um, I'll tell you a little bit more about that actually. So um, my, um, it's kind of a former upline before the compensation plan changed like years ago. Rhonda Wade is her name. You guys probably have heard of her because she's one of our top demonstrators. She reached her million dollars. She has that super cute, the ridiculously awesome stamp set. Anyway, she always does these great events. Um, we just did kind of like an online creative convention, she called it, and it totally got me in the mood. I played like last weekend. I did, I think it was close to 20 make and take projects that she sent to all of us. And then she does a bunch of training like online too. Really kind of helps keep me inspired and motivated. Um, and like all of those projects, we had, I had so much fun playing with all of our new holiday catalog stuff. And I think that's kind of what it got me in the mood because I, I wasn't in the mood before. I don't know. I think it's because it's just still summer. Anyway, forget about that because like fall is like right around the corner, right? But so I've got um, some of the projects that I'm going to show you. Um, I learned how to make at Korea creative convention. Um, so I've got some fun things to share with you guys in just a couple minutes. 
okay? Um, all right, I think, let me, I'm checking my notes, but I feel like we're good. I think we are ready to, yeah, let's flip the camera down and I'm gonna show you guys what we have to make today. Um, but yeah, let's see, I gotta find my grid paper too. But okay, turn your heads away for a sec. We're flying through the air. I'm gonna flip the camera down. Okay, all right, I'm gonna flip. There we go, okay, good. We look good, right? Hi, everybody. Okay, let me find my grid paper. I know it's right here. I try to be organized. Try being the optimal word there. Doesn't always happen, but okay. So here's our host code too. I've maybe, I don't know if I mentioned that, but this is the code that you're gonna to wanna to use anytime between now and next Wednesday, the R4P4KGGM. So this is what you'll use when you order online. Make sure you use that to get all the fun goodies from me. Name and the drawing and all that good stuff. Okay. Um, all right, I think I'm ready. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys. So like I was saying, the creative convention that we did. This was one of the make and takes. And you may have seen this if you follow uh, Erica Serwin at Pink Buckaroo Designs. She actually designed some of the make and takes for our creative convention. I love pretty much everything that Erica does is so super cute. And this one was definitely no exception. So it's like a little treat holder. I'm going to show you guys how we made this. So this was the one that we made as part of um, the creative convention, right? So kind of a fun Christmas theme with this is some of that. Um, I think it's called Best Plaid, the designer series paper in the holiday catalog. And then the cute um, pine tree. I cannot remember the names of these things yet, but that sentiment and the snow. Let's just find that real quick. I can do that, I'm pretty sure. I should have flagged the page and I did not, um, but I bet we can figure it out. So, oh, and I guess I should show you. Yeah, okay, so a couple of things I'll show you, right? So we're in here. So, oh, no, it's not. This is the Plaid Tidings Designer Series paper. So you can see this is a great, like, very versatile set of, like, plaid papers. So you've got some that look very kind of traditional Christmassy, right? Hello, Miss Nancy. Um, you've got some that are kind of fall and Halloween-y even. And then just some traditional, like, I always think of plaid as, like, men's shirts. So I think you could do something kind of fun and masculine with the plaid paper also. And then here, this is the bundle that I was talking Talking about that we're going to be featuring. So this die, that biggest one right there, is what we used. Can you see that? To die cut this piece to make our tree. So that biggest label. And then there's the stamp set that coordinates. That we actually did not use on this project. Um, but that's right here, the Celebration Tidings Bundle. So this is all on page 57 if you have a holiday catalog. And then here's a little bit more. You can see the stamp set up close, the Celebration Tidings. We are going to use that on the next project I'm going to show you. And then there are the Celebration dies too. So you can see it has a couple of the spiders. You can cut out a couple spiders, these little spriggy things, some hearts, and then some little kind of doodaddy things that would go kind of in the corners of things, right? Okay, so, but I wanted to also show you where the the pine tree, did I, ooh, I did, the In the Pines, that's what it's called. So this stamp set right here, we used these stamps right here on that, um, that is Shaded Spruce cardstock. Uh, yes, Sharon, it is really easy, isn't it? Yes, easy and so cute, and you can make it for like any season too, right? Okay, so there's the stamp that we used, the In the Pine stamps, and then here are the dies. So there's the one that cut to the three trees all connecting, and then here are your snow scenes, and we used, it looks like the bigger one, the slopier one right there is what we used, and then your season's greetings went along there too. So super cute project, right? I fell in love with it, I was like, oh, I'm going to be making a million more of um, that cute project, right? So I decided, so spoiler alert, let me just say that. If you are a club member, um, you may or may not have received this treat yet. So if you haven't received it, close your eyes and ears if you don't want to ruin the surprise. Otherwise, if you don't care, I'm going to show you because I just have to. I can't wait, ladies, because I thought these were so cute too. So I made some, here, we'll scoot that one out of the way, right? I made some Halloween, my version of Halloween treats for everybody. Slipped a couple of chocolate bars 
in there, right? A couple of Kit Kat or Hershey's fit perfect in there. So we've got the happy haunting with the cute little spider and then kind of that scrolly detail. And can you see, so I used a couple of different plaids from that designer series paper and then some of the awesome twill that's the bumblebee twill ribbon right so i did use on these i used this die is what kind of goes upside down that die i stamped right there right then we have our happy haunting and then our spider so cute simple easy right and I love that ribbon, so fun. So yeah, so these are my club member treats this month. And now I'm gonna show you what we're actually gonna make today, okay? So you kind of sky's the limit though. You guys kind of get the idea, like for whatever, you, these could be um, little treats. You could make them for like a birthday party, a baby shower, whatever you need a little treat for. It's just so cute and simple and easy. <laughs> Never want the plaid paper to retire. I know there's always something like that, isn't there? in every catalog, at least a couple of things for me too. So, okay, so I've got everything kind of piled up here on my scoring tool that I'm gonna need. So this is what we are actually gonna make today, right? <laughs> yes, so I'm sorry, I'm like laughing at the comments here too. So I did kind of a fall version because I thought these would be kind of fun, right? <laughs> yeah, she took the candy bars and put a... <laughs> Oh, and she said to say thank you. Well, you're welcome, McKinley. I'm glad that you enjoyed the treat, both Sally and McKinley. <laughs> oh, thank you, Philomena. So I clearly can't really take credit, but I just basically took kind of the design and then made like another theme. So I love the fall, right? So we've got this life is better with you with the little... Um, what is that? That is a, why am I totally drawing a blank? Um, oh my God, I can't think of it. Leaves, we've got leaves over here, the little spriggy things there, the metallic ribbon and whatever the heck, I'm sorry, my mind is totally drawing a blank. Anyway, but I love that life is better with you sentiment and then some of the fall. So that's some of the gilded autumn designer series paper. This is all kind of that fall suite. So let me, oops, sorry, I'm flipping that around and I put a couple of chocolates in there too, right? Let me show you how we make that little treat, okay? So let's see, um, actually I'm gonna scoot that over there. Um, you do need, I'll show you that. It's the beautiful autumn acorn, <laughs> thank you. I, knew, I was like, oh seriously, you guys, oh my gosh. You know, sometimes the brain, and it's like when you're on the Facebook Live, too, I think it's like 20 times worse that you're like, you can't think. <laughs> it, it would be like 40 or 50 times worse if I were live in front of people, though. I'll tell you that. So <laughs> Facebook Live is definitely the better way for me to go. But let me show you while we are kind of pulling stuff out here. So I use the beautiful autumn stamp set, the life is better with you sentiment. And then yes, my acorn right there. And then my, um, looks like a maple leaf right there. And then the other little, whatever kind of leaf that is, you guys will probably tell me that too. So anyway, the punch pack, but I don't know if I showed these last week or not, but the punches are bigger too. They're not um, like I thought when I saw the three punches in the punch pack, they were going to be the super tiny, but these are quite a bit bigger. So I think they're a little bit easier to handle. So, okay. Let me get my ink out. It's funny because this project is pretty simple. Oh, but actually I'm going to need to make room for my scoring plate and the die cutting. Okay. So here I am getting everything out and then moving everything away. So let's start with the die cutting first, actually. So... Let me grab my new stamp and cut and emboss machine. Ladies, are you guys ready to get your own machine? If you're a demonstrator, you can order it already, right? If you're not a demonstrator, you can order your machine on September 1st. So keep that in mind. You could, yeah, use the host code, order this fancy, snazzy, beautiful new machine, and you could get your name in the drawing next week, right? Okay, so I have, this is just a half a sheet of early espresso cardstock with my dies that I buried underneath stuff, okay? So we are gonna grab the largest die. Does some stitching too. Yes, the magnetic plate next week also. Yes, ma'am, Miss Sharon. You are right about that. Okay, all right. So let me crank my handle here. Super simple, sleek stamp and cut and emboss machine that I'm using. I love it. I was kind of like, okay, yeah, whatever. 
new machine. Great, great, great. But I really do love it, you guys. I think, you know, the black is so like 90s, right? And this white with the silver and gray. Can you guys see like the sparkly silver there? And then even the handle, silver, sparkly, beautiful. It's just, yeah, it's like an upgrade. You got to do it. Okay, so we got that one. And see how easy, just popped right out of there too, right? So we've got our early espresso base. Now I have a piece of designer series paper. And all we really need to do, just make sure it's wide enough for your second largest die. And then you just wanna cut this a little bit above like the notch, because we only wanna put this, can you see? You only need this part right here and then it just kind of um, fits right along the bottom there, okay? Actually, Erica, on the one that we made, she did decorate the back. Um, I ran out of, because you only these are only um, six by six pieces of DSP, so I didn't put any on the back because I, I barely had enough to make all of my treats as it was. Um, so you can put it on the back. I didn't on that one, but you certainly could, right? I think it's beautiful either way, whether you want to put it on the back or not. But again, basically, you just need to lay that down just a little bit above that notch right there to get what we need for this one. So we're going to lay that down there. You guys can see it. Okay, good. And I brought my little, my mini paper trimmer because when I was making this one the other day, um, I made it still a little bit too tall. So if we need to, we can always snip a little bit off the bottom of it. Okay. I feel like there's one more. While we have our die cutting machine out, I'm going to, and I should have done it before, but we're going to cut those little spriggy things that I love. I love um, adding those little babies to a project. They just add a little bit of fun to them. Okay, so this is all we need. Just that looks about like that, right? Nikki, oh yay! <laughs> yes, you're gonna have a lot of fun this weekend. That is for sure, Miss Nikki. Yay! Very, 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 very exciting. Okay, so this is the smallest piece of some of our new brushed metal. Can you kind of see? I don't know, in the right light, maybe just kind of, it's actually liney this way. <laughs> Sharon's doing clap, clap, clap for Nikki. Okay, so yeah, and I can, I don't even know what color. Copper, um, gold, or there's another one, and I, I don't know which is which, to be honest. I know the gold, but the copper and whatever the other one is, I'm not really sure which one's which. So anyway, this is kind of the lighter one. It's not gold, it's the lighter of the two. So we're just gonna put those right on there. Okay, with those two. And I love that they gave us multiples of things too. They did that quite a lot, right? So we have two bats, one there and one there. We actually have four of these little babies. So you got those there and there, and then two hearts also. So, and then two of the little spriggy guys that I just cut. Did I get through there enough? I got too excited and I stopped before it was actually through. So we're gonna just peel those things off. I'm gonna put those right back on there so I don't lose them. And I think we're done with our die cutting. So you guys can kind of see, <coughs> excuse me, those little spriggy babies. Yeah, they're just cute little, this is like I said, just a teeny tiny little piece of paper, of the new brushed paper that we used. Okay, so I think we are good with our die cutting. So we'll scoot our new stamp and cut and emboss machine out of the way. And now we need to score just a little bit here. Okay. <clears throat> Actually, you know what I'll do? Let's, um, I have my little paper trimmer, my little teeny tiny mini paper trimmer. Let's make sure. Actually, I can't, I gotta score this first. Never mind. I was gonna try to use this and get it out of the way because I feel like there's so much stuff. You guys can't see it, thank goodness, but there's a lot of stuff around here. So it'll be all right. Okay, 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 okay. So, my little bits and pieces here. I've got some notes on what I need to do. So here, this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to, okay. So we have our scoring plate, right? So first thing uh, with our early espresso, the largest label, you wanna make sure it's flush along the top here and you're gonna score it at, oops, and then it moved on me as I was saying, make sure it's flush. Score it at two and a half and three and a half inches, okay? I'm sorry, this tickle now. Okay, then that's all you need to do for that one, right? So then you're just going to fold 
these up. This is what I was trying to measure. Yeah, so it's a little bit too tall. So in a sec after I'm done scoring things, because I want it to be down about like that. So I need to trim just a teeny bit off the bottom. So we'll do that in a sec. Bronze, yes, that's the other one. Copper and bronze. So which one's darker, copper or bronze, Sharon? <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. Anyway, I'm just being flaky, I guess. All right, so then we also have two pieces. Um, let me show you on the one that isn't doesn't have any candy in it. It'll be easier to see. On the inside, you have to make kind of the little insides of your box so that your candy doesn't slide out. You could, actually, you could do something with um, like a longer, kind of wider piece that might just kind of stick right through there. As long as it's tight enough, you wouldn't have to do the edges of the box. But here, let me show you. This is what I'm trying to show, is these little pieces right here. This is what we're gonna make those little edges of our box, okay? So we're gonna make two of those right there, all right? So with these pieces of early espresso cardstock, you can kind of see it right on the side. Those are like the edges of our box, right? The corners. Um, <laughs> all right, you think copper's darker, all right. That makes sense, right? Okay, so these are little pieces that measure one and three quarter by two and seven eighths inch, okay? So along the long side of each of these, we are gonna score it at one inch and at one and seven eighths inch. And then you're gonna turn it, and along the short side, you're gonna score it at one inch, okay? So same thing, along the long side at one inch and one and seven eighths, and then the short side at one inch, okay? So you've got those two, can you kind of see? That's how we have those, right? So then we're just gonna fold them and cut them and put them together. Super simple, easy, okay? While I am thinking about this though, I'm gonna grab again my little paper trimmer and I just wanna trim off. It's like I need that lifted up a little bit. I want it to be at about two and a quarter inches is what I figured, so I'm gonna line that little bit up at two and a quarter inches. And just see, I just like snip off a teeny tiny little bit. Oh, she showed them on YouTube. Okay, good. <laughs> so she knew what color was what. That's good, because like I said, I wasn't so sure. Okay, so adhesive, here we go. Um, yeah, we can do this. So let's put this piece of the Gilded Autumn Designer Series paper on the front one of these and again you could decorate the back you just cut another one of these pieces and put it on the back so I'm trying to kind of get it so it's even there and along the bottom okay so we've got that there right then let's see let's make our little boxes now so we're gonna grab our scissors and along this is the three-quarter inch kind of the shorter and we are gonna cut up on both of these I like to kind of tuck this little baby in, and then we're just gonna cut these on a little bit of an angle because it just makes it easier to put your box together or the corners of your box, right? Got that one and that one, and then just flip this up, and we've got that and that. There we go, okay? Let's get those little bits out of the way. All right, so now I'm actually gonna use my Stampin' Seal Plus to put this little corner of the box together. So I just put adhesive on both of those and then we're just gonna fold it. And I like to hold it in my hand and it's okay that that extra adhesive is kind of coming off the edge because that's gonna help us finish putting our corners on our box, right? So there's a little bit of adhesive there. That's not a problem because that's gonna stick down on the inside of the box in a moment. Okay, so we're gonna do this again. We've got that one, we've got that one, okay. So you take one side and just fold it in, make sure it's kind of lined up along there. And then the other one along the score mark. And again, that adhesive is okay right there because then what we're gonna do is we are going to put more of our Stamp and Seal Plus right inside there. And then you're gonna just line one and I'm gonna press really firmly in there. And then the other one I'm gonna press really firmly right there. So that is all you do with that. The one thing I probably should have done maybe by before I put those little corners in, it's really not a big deal. Find your handheld punch. I like to be able to see the point so I know where I'm punching. You're just gonna put this together and 
hopefully I'm centered well enough, and then you just make your little hole inside there, okay? Now what do we wanna do? Let me look at my little example here so I can remember, right? Okay, so now we are going to do some stamping and some punching and so on. This, oh, I don't even have my grid paper here, do I? Well, I think I know this. This is, let me just verify. Hey, you know what? We'll just use this teeny tiny little grid paper today for now. We might be at all, that's all we need. One by four and three quarters, okay, is what we're gonna use for that little uh, banner right there. And we're gonna use our new banners pick a punch. Have you guys seen these punches yet? So fun, right? So we've got this one right here that kind of does the banner and then this one that does the point. And you can do it in a half inch, three quarter or one inch wide, both of those. You can kind of see in the slots there too, maybe a little bit better, right? So there's a half inch, three quarters of an inch and one inch. So this is one inch by the um, four. Is that right? I don't know why that doesn't seem. That's why I was like, wait a minute. I feel it was only three and three quarters. Let's do it up here. Yeah, it's three and three quarters. I knew that didn't seem right. This is like going backwards. Seven, six, five, why is it doing that? That's really weird. Okay, I don't know. Anyway, so it's one inch by three and three quarters. Sorry about that. So hello, Miss Karen, glad you can join us. All right, so the fun new punch, just slide that in, makes the perfect banner. Slide it in on the other side, makes another perfect banner. You're all good to go there, okay? Now we can do our stamping and our punching. Okay, with all of my ink, so we've got a few different ink pads we're gonna use here. Is it still in view? It's still in view, right? Okay, so let's do this one first. We're gonna stamp the Life is Better with You on our little banner label. Okay, so there's that, all right? Then my acorn, <laughs> thank you ladies. We're gonna stamp that in crumb cake ink. I just got like a little, so this is just a little vanilla strip, right? Then we've got our leaf. And this one, I realized I kinda need to go at an angle. Hopefully I can still punch that. And so that was mint macaron. And then we've got Cajun craze ink for our little maple leaf. We're gonna just stamp that one right on there, okay? So aren't those cute? Look at all of, even though they're these teeny tiny baby stamps, right? Look at how much detail there is on those. And let's see what Sally's saying. Oh, yeah, I know a lot of people do like to um, lift them up and do them upside down. I don't know why, I, that's not my thing. I can't, I can't do it as well, so I tend to not. I mean, this one you have to do upside down because you've got it stamped, but here's my little acorn. So just gonna punch that guy out, right? And then let's do this one. Boom, all right, put that right there so I don't lose things. And then last one, my little leaf. I was kind of wondering, let me think. <laughs> Is it gonna be able to? I feel like I need to do, I'll hold it with this hand, right? I was kind of worried that I was gonna not be able to line this up or hang on to it. I think we're gonna be all right. Let's get that. Yeah, so ladies, give yourself a little bit more paper to work with <laughs> than I did there. That might be helpful. Okay, so I think we've got everything. So let's go ahead, we can put some dimensionals behind all of these little guys here. Okay, so we're gonna put a couple behind our banner and then we're gonna use the little mini, perfect size, little baby dimensionals behind those right there, okay. So we can add this little, right, our banner, our sentiment, life is better with you, so sweet, huh, right? And then our acorn, I will never forget the name of this again. <laughs> oh, thank you, ladies. There's always something around here, I think. Okay, and then our little leaves, we'll add these little guys, right, I can put one right there. I love just all the little detail that it adds, right? So you can decorate these however you like. And then where'd my little, my little spriggy guys are not lost. I just had to add a little bit of, so, hmm, I feel like copper is gonna be darker. So maybe these are bronze then, Sharon, what do you think? Are these bronze, this lighter color? So we'll put one there and, 
maybe one right there and then you can kind of bend them because I just put adhesive at the bottom so I like those to kind of pop up a little bit more add a little more dimension then so I got adhesive on my finger I gotta get that off and it doesn't want to come off I think I accidentally used my stamp and seal plus on those which is fine so those things will never come off with stamp and seal plus right um okay let's tie did I bring it I know I did where did I put it help where oh right here <laughs> thank you <laughs> all right so now we are going to use this is the metallic ribbon from I brought the other one over too where did it go so the combo pack and I just had this little strip so this is the mint macaron the basket weave and metallic ribbon combo pack you get both of those ribbons in your combo pack of ribbons right so we are going to just tie a bow to hold our treat together so you can see how really simple you know you can you can decorate them you can add a lot in terms of detail to your decoration or if you just want to add a little bit um, a little bit goes a long way, right, with the designer series paper. So there's our cute little treat box, right? And then you can just put a couple, and I love the little bit of um, gold kind of accent there too. It kind of works with our, with our copper and our, no, is this bronze? I don't know, whatever. <laughs> All of our metallics going on here, right? This, I'm going to say copper and bronze, I don't know, bronze, right? So yeah. Anyway, so that is our first project. Isn't that so cute? You can just see. So you can imagine whatever you want to put in here um, that will fit, or you can make this a little bit wider. If you just score this a little bit wider right there, right? Then you can make your little um, sides of your box a little bit bigger if you have something that's a little bit wider to go in there too. So super cute, huh? Isn't that fun? All right, and again, the Halloween ones also, right? Okay, so one project done. Let me scoot these things out of the way a little bit, right? So that I don't get, it's, it's mainly ladies, so I don't get confused and go to grab like a stamp or something um, and think I need it for this project that I'm gonna do next. It was really for the one I just made. So this is more for me than anything else, the um, cleaning up. <laughs> so, so, you know, there's less confusion. I admit there's always some confusion. Okay, I think we're good. So next project, this one is super simple, super duper duper simple, but so cute, like packs a lot of punch, I think with the fun little cello bags. Can you see the little, I imagine those to be like snowflakes on our cello bags. So let me show you. You get a package of these cello bags. You actually, I was shocked. There are 25 of them in here. Can you, you probably can't even see that, but it, they're like thin. I didn't realize that we had 25 of them in a pack. So they come, they're really tall. Um, so I cut it down. So that's my first step, oops. Scoot that out of the way, right? So here is my cello bag. So I did fold it over too, but I just literally with my scissors um, kind of cut off the top. Let's see if we can figure out. I cut off, it was about three and a quarter inches is what I cut off along the top. So I'm actually just gonna kind of use that because I really liked that length. And it doesn't have to be precise, right? So I don't know, maybe you can find something fun to do with those little things too, right? <laughs> Okay, so then this is just gonna fold over about like that, right? <laughs> the punches are on your wish list. Yes, yes, I hear you. So I just put in um, some little chocolates. These were kind of fun. I had to try maybe a couple, ladies. So I just found these at Walgreens. They're like a little, it says crunchy chocolate peanuts. And all I saw was like chocolate covered peanuts, but then there's like this little um, crunchy element to them too. So we'll just... Let's just put a couple of these in here right now because it kind of helps fill out our bag, all right? And after we're done with Facebook Live, I might have to have a couple more of these, but we'll just sprinkle a few of those in there for now, right? And that's what's kind of fun is then it um, kind of helps your bag sit up where it wasn't sitting up at all before, right? So we're gonna not touch those much though because it's getting a little bit warm in here and we are gonna make our little treat topper, right? So let's see. Um, yeah, you could make another bag. You're right, Sally. That's a good idea. Yeah. So these, this kind of takes me back in time. Like when I first started paper crafting, 
All I wanted to do was make cute treats for my kids to take to school, like for Halloween and Christmas and Easter and basically any holiday I could think of. So this was my go-to project was like our little cello bags and then with a little treat topper on them. So I'm kind of like going back in time. My kids would basically never take these treats to school um, any longer. Although it's funny, now Cade's a senior, maybe he would, maybe like one last time. <laughs> I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> Well, I don't know. Anyway, but okay, so let me show you because this is just so fun and simple and easy to make. So we have, this is some more of the, is it plaid tidings designer series paper? I think it is. So you can see this is a fun like fall. That, that print would look really pretty on there too, wouldn't it? Right, if you wanted to do more of a fall theme with your chocolate, right? We are gonna keep it back over here for our Christmas theme. So I have two of these, I don't know why. On six, we only need one, right? And then let's see grab ink and so on okay so let's do our die cutting let me show you again we are using our celebration right isn't that what they're called celebration label dies okay I have the names of a few things but not all of them all right let's make sure we're using the right sizes so we have yep that one is right there so this is the third largest die goes on the red plaid and then the second smallest, I guess, right, um, goes on our white piece, okay? So let's cut those and then I'll, we're gonna do our stamping afterwards because I tried to do my stamping first and then line this up and I didn't like it, it didn't work out as well. So we're gonna, usually I do stamp and then die cut, but today, not so much. Okay, all right, so here we go. <laughs> yeah, Sally, he may surprise me. You're right. That's why as I, I paused because I was like, mm, you know, honestly, he would probably do it before Lily would. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know what that says about either one of them, but that's kind of just how they are. So, and yay, you got the paper yesterday. That's awesome, Susan. Okay. So, man, my, my plates are already really well loved. Can you see? <laughs> I've been having lots of fun. Can you see all of the labels too? That's the mainly what I've used these plates for is cutting out all these new celebration label dies, right? Okay, so we got that one, and then, and you need full on both of these, right? So this one, honestly, I would maybe, maybe use a different designer series paper, because you're only going to get one of these dies out of each um, six by six, although you can still do that, right? Because then you, you've got so many different designer series papers um, to choose from. 48 different sheets in there, right? So you could get 48 toppers, and then you'd have a bunch of pieces left over too to make other fun projects with so yeah okay I think where is my project it's like hiding away yeah I think we're done with our die cutting okay I was just trying to make sure so let's just get this out of the way all right okay so we're going to do our stamping right on here so this I did use is so the celebration tiding stamp set oh and what's sharon saying and i found out you can use the die ooh for a box lid too very cool all right you'll have to tell us more about that sometime sharon that sounds fun so we used our merry christmas and then i love this little guy right here too just to add a little bit of detail to our sentiment here okay so i've got my real red ink we're going to stamp, and this, there's something about it so sweet, this Merry Christmas, the font of it. Okay, tap, 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 right, ladies? Stamp our Merry Christmas. Don't you love that? I love that font on there. Okay, so we got that one, and then we have the shaded spruce. Did I get, ooh, I didn't get green on my finger. I really thought I was going to. I just want a little teeny tiny bit of that kind of popping up along the bottom there. Again, just to add a little bit of detail. Now these, you actually just fold in half, which I rarely do. I'm more about like the scoring, but as long as you line up the little notch, you are gonna be just fine. Ooh, <laughs> that's cute, Sharon. We may see that at the next group meeting. Ooh, that's like a tease. <laughs> I love it. So ladies, if you want to see Sharon showing us how to use these labels to turn them into a box lid, you have to buy the starter kit and join our Inkspired Stampers group, and then she will be on our Facebook Live showing us 
how to do that, right? Okay, so all I did again was just line this up and then um, fold it in half. So super simple. That is just gonna layer right on top of there, right? So we are, actually though, don't, hold on. This was my little trick so that you couldn't see my staple. Okay, so we're gonna do that and fold that over. We're gonna put this topper on first. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab, everything looks the same, where's my staple? Where did it go? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> I kept looking at the punches and like, okay, no, it's not a punch. So there, so we're gonna cover up our staple now with this other die so you don't even see it. I love that little trick. It's so tricky, isn't it, ladies? And I am gonna use my Stamp and Seal Plus because I want to make sure this sticks on there really well because of that, um, what's that called? That staple that's on there, okay? So we're gonna do those right there, right? Next, we need to add just a little bit of bling to it. <laughs> Sharon, or Susie, I want to see. Yes, Susie, so buy that starter kit and you can see. Actually, Sharon really needs someone to buy the starter kit through her so she can promote to uh, Silver. So Susie, talk to Sharon about getting the starter kit. <laughs> and, then, and then she'll show you how to make the <laughs> sorry I'm being really silly right now okay all right so we are gonna what was this ladies here I am this is the new so this was actually um something that I got from creative convention so we used a little bit of it we got this in a cute little tin that I should have showed you I'm gonna have to show you next week um Oh, look at Susie. I'm thinking, okay. <laughs> anyway, so this is fun. And you actually, I think, get 10 yards of it. But I probably got a couple yards as like a little um, goodie bag kind of thing. But the braided linen trim in real red. Very pretty, huh? Okay, so we just made our bow and silliness here, right? We're going to add a little glue dot. We're going to pop that right on there. And then last step, I just needed a little bit of bling. So I had to go to... My holiday rhinestones, you know, and all these fun, pretty colors, right? And I thought I want to do, I wanted to use the orange. I just needed um, a little something fun and bright on there. So I put a couple of orange um, holiday rhinestones, and I've got more. Let's see, what do we got here? <laughs> yes, yes, you yes, you know. We all have our love of Stampin' Up! products. That is for sure, Miss Susie. <laughs> all right, so, all right, what do you guys think? Kind of a, just, that's super simple, right? You can, again, for any holiday, whatever you need these for, just make a little treat topper that kind of coordinates with your theme. Add a little whatever you want inside, and you've got a great little um, treat holder idea there. Okay, so ladies, thank you so much for joining me today. We'll just put that right there. The quick recap I always like to do at the end of our videos to remind you to put your online order in, right? Use this host code, the R4P4KGGM. You will get these make and take projects that I demonstrated today with at least a $30 order. Your name also goes in the drawing to win the dainty diamonds embossing folder bump your order up to fifty dollars and you get the pdf tutorial or the in color enamel dots are free with your fifty dollar order so let me know if you guys have any questions on any of these projects i hope that you enjoyed them i know i had so much fun showing them to you so you guys have a great weekend and we will see you next friday bye everybody thank you